chapter 66. This is what the Lord says. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? Where will my resting place be? Has not my hand made all these things, and so they came into being? declares the Lord. This is the one I esteem, he who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word. But whoever sacrifices a bull is like one who kills a man, and whoever offers a lamb like one who breaks a dog's neck. Whoever makes a grain offering is like one who presents pig's blood, and whoever burns memorial incense like one who worships an idol. They have chosen their own ways, and their souls delight in their abominations. So I also will choose harsh treatment for them, and will bring upon them what they dread. For when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, no one listened. They did evil in my sight, and chose what displeases me. Hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word. Your brothers who hate you and exclude you because of my name have said, Let the Lord be glorified, that we may see your joy. Yet they will be put to shame. Hear that uproar from the city. Hear that noise from the temple. It is the sound of the Lord repaying his enemies all they deserve. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a son. Who has ever heard of such a thing? Who has ever seen such things? Can a country be born in a day, or a nation be brought forth in a moment? Yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord? Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice greatly with her, all you who mourn over her, for you will nurse and be satisfied at her comforting breasts. You will drink deeply and delight in her overflowing abundance. For this is what the Lord says. I will extend peace to her like a river, and the wealth of nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm and dandled on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. When you see this, your heart will rejoice and you will flourish like grass. The hand of the Lord will be made known to his servants, but his fury will be shown to his foes. See, the Lord is coming with fire, and his chariots are like a whirlwind. He will bring down his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For with fire and with his sword the Lord will execute judgment upon all men, and many will be those slain by the Lord. Those who consecrate and purify themselves to go into the gardens, following the one in the midst of those who eat the flesh of pigs and rats and other abominable things, they will meet their end together, declares the Lord. And I, because of their actions and their imaginations, am about to come and gather all nations and tongues, and they will come and see my glory. I will set a sign among them, and I will send some of those who survive to the nations, to Tarshish, to the Libyans and Lydians, famous as archers, to Tubal and Greece, and to the distant islands that have not heard of my fame or see my glory. They will proclaim my glory among the nations, and they will bring all your brothers from all the nations to my holy mountain in Jerusalem as an offering to the Lord, on horses, in chariots and wagons, and on mules and camels, says the Lord. They will bring them as the Israelites bring their grain offerings to the temple of the Lord in ceremonially clean vessels, and I will select some of them also to be priests and Levites says the Lord. As the new heavens and the new earth that I make will endure before me, declares the Lord, so will your name and descendants endure. 
from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all mankind will come and bow down before me, says the Lord. And they will go out and look upon the dead bodies of those who rebelled against me. Their worm will not die, nor will their fire be quenched, and they will be loathsome to all mankind. This concludes Disc 38. Jeremiah, Chapter 1 The words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, one of the priests at Anathoth, in the territory of Benjamin. The word of the Lord came to him in the thirteenth year of the reign of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah, and through the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, down to the fifth month of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, son of Josiah, king of Judah, when the people of Jerusalem went into exile. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Ah, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak, I am only a child. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a child. You must go to everyone I send you to, and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you see, Jeremiah? I see the branch of an almond tree, I replied. The Lord said to me, You have seen correctly, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. The word of the Lord came to me again. What do you see? I see a boiling pot tilting away from the north, I answered. The Lord said to me, From the north disaster will be poured out on all who live in the land. I am about to summon all the peoples of the northern kingdoms, declares the Lord. Their kings will come and set up their thrones in the entrance of the gates of Jerusalem. They will come against all her surrounding walls and against all the towns of Judah. I will pronounce my judgments on my people because of their wickedness in forsaking me, in burning incense to other gods, and in worshiping what their hands have made. Get yourself ready, stand up, and say to them whatever I command you. Do not be terrified by them, or I will terrify you before them. Today I have made you a fortified city, an iron pillar, and a bronze wall to stand against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, its officials, its priests, and the people of the land. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Chapter 2 The word of the Lord came to me. Go and proclaim in the hearing of Jerusalem. I remember the devotion of your youth, how as a bride you loved me and followed me through the desert, through a land not sown. Israel was holy to the Lord, the first fruits of his harvest. All who devoured her were held guilty, and disaster overtook them, declares the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, all you clans of the house of Israel. This is what the Lord says. What fault did your fathers find in me that they strayed so far from me? They followed worthless idols and became worthless themselves. They did not ask, Where is the Lord who brought us up out of Egypt and led us through the barren wilderness, through a land of deserts and rifts, a land of drought and darkness, a land where no one travels and no one lives? I brought you into a fertile land to eat its fruit and rich produce. But you came and defiled my land and made my inheritance detestable. The priests did not ask, Where is the Lord? Those who deal with the law did not know me. The leaders rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal, following worthless idols. Therefore I bring charges against you again, declares the Lord. And I will bring charges against your children's children. 
cross over to the coasts of Kittim and look. Send to Kedar and observe closely. See if there has ever been anything like this. Has a nation ever changed its gods? Yet they are not gods at all. But my people have exchanged their glory for worthless idols. Be appalled at this, O heavens, and shudder with great horror, declares the Lord. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and have dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. Is Israel a servant, a slave by birth? Why then has he become plunder? Lions have roared. They have growled at him. They have laid waste his land. His towns are burned and deserted. Also, the men of Memphis and Tappanes have shaved the crown of your head. Have you not brought this on yourselves by forsaking the Lord your God when he led you in the way? Now, why go to Egypt to drink water from the Shihor? And why go to Assyria to drink water from the river? Your wickedness will punish you. Your backsliding will rebuke you. Consider then and realize how evil and bitter it is for you when you forsake the Lord your God and have no awe of me, declares the Lord, the Lord Almighty. Long ago you broke off your yoke and tore off your bonds. You said, I will not serve you. Indeed, on every high hill and under every spreading tree, you lay down as a prostitute. I had planted you like a choice vine of sound and reliable stock. How then did you turn against me into a corrupt, wild vine? Although you wash yourself with soda and use an abundance of soap, the stain of your guilt is still before me, declares the Sovereign Lord. How can you say, I am not defiled, I have not run after the bales? See how you behaved in the valley. Consider what you have done. You are a swift she-camel running here and there, a wild donkey accustomed to the desert, sniffing the wind in her craving. In her heat, who can restrain her? Any males that pursue her need not tire themselves. At mating time, they will find her. Do not run until your feet are bare and your throat is dry. But you said, it's no use. I love foreign gods, and I must go after them. As a thief is disgraced when he is caught, so the house of Israel is disgraced. They, their kings and their officials, their priests and their prophets. They say to wood, you are my father, and to stone, you gave me birth. They have turned their backs to me and not their faces. Yet when they are in trouble, they say, come and save us. Where then are the gods you made for yourselves? Let them come if they can save you when you are in trouble. For you have as many gods as you have towns, O Judah. Why do you bring charges against me? You have all rebelled against me, declares the Lord. In vain I punished your people. They did not respond to correction. Your sword has devoured your prophets like a ravening lion. You of this generation consider the word of the Lord. Have I been a desert to Israel or a land of great darkness? Why do my people say, we are free to roam, we will come to you no more? Does a maiden forget her jewelry, a bride her wedding ornaments? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. How skilled you are at pursuing love. Even the worst of women can learn from your ways. On your clothes men find the lifeblood of the innocent poor, though you did not catch them breaking in. Yet in spite of all this, you say, I am innocent. He is not angry with me. But I will pass judgment on you because you say, I have not sinned. Why do you go about so much changing your ways? You will be disappointed by Egypt as you were by Assyria. You will also leave that place with your hands on your head. For the Lord has rejected those you trust. You will not be helped by them. Chapter 3 If a man divorces his wife, and she leaves him and marries another man, should he return to her again? Would not the land be completely defiled? But you have lived as a prostitute with many lovers. Would you now return to me? declares the Lord. 
Look up to the barren heights and see. Is there any place where you have not been ravished? By the roadside you sat waiting for lovers, sat like a nomad in the desert. You have defiled the land with your prostitution and wickedness. Therefore, the showers have been withheld and no spring rains have fallen. Yet you have the brazen look of a prostitute. You refuse to blush with shame. Have you not just called to me? My father, my friend from my youth, will you always be angry? Will your wrath continue forever? This is how you talk, but you do all the evil you can. During the reign of King Josiah, the Lord said to me, Have you seen what faithless Israel has done? She has gone up on every high hill and under every spreading tree and has committed adultery there. I thought that after she had done all this, she would return to me. But she did not, and her unfaithful sister Judah saw it. I gave faithless Israel her certificate of divorce and sent her away because of all her adulteries. Yet I saw that her unfaithful sister Judah had no fear. She also went out and committed adultery. Because Israel's immorality mattered so little to her, she defiled the land and committed adultery with stone and wood. In spite of all this, her unfaithful sister Judah did not return to me with all her heart, but only in pretense, declares the Lord. The Lord said to me, Faithless Israel is more righteous than unfaithful Judah. Go, proclaim this message toward the north. Return, faithless Israel, declares the Lord. I will frown on you no longer, for I am merciful, declares the Lord. I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge your guilt. You have rebelled against the Lord your God. You have scattered your favors to foreign gods under every spreading tree and have not obeyed me, declares the Lord. Return, faithless people, declares the Lord, for I am your husband. I will choose you one from a town and two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. Then I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will lead you with knowledge and understanding. In those days, when your numbers have increased greatly in the land, declares the Lord, men will no longer say, The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. It will never enter their minds or be remembered. It will not be missed, nor will another one be made. At that time, they will call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, and all nations will gather in Jerusalem to honor the name of the Lord. No longer will they follow the stubbornness of their evil hearts. In those days, the house of Judah will join the house of Israel, and together they will come from a northern land to the land I gave your forefathers as an inheritance. I myself said, How gladly would I treat you like sons and give you a desirable land the most beautiful inheritance of any nation. I thought you would call me father and not turn away from following me. But like a woman unfaithful to her husband, so you have been unfaithful to me, O house of Israel, declares the Lord. A cry is heard on the barren heights, the weeping and pleading of the people of Israel, because they have perverted their ways and have forgotten the Lord their God. Return, faithless people, I will cure you of backsliding. Yes, we will come to you, for you are the Lord our God. Surely the idolatrous commotion on the hills and mountains is a deception. Surely in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. From our youth shameful gods have consumed the fruits of our father's labor, their flocks and herds, their sons and daughters. Let us lie down in our shame and let our disgrace cover us. We have sinned against the Lord our God, both we and our fathers. From our youth till this day, we have not obeyed the Lord our God. Chapter 4 If you will return, O Israel, return to me, declares the Lord. If you put your detestable idols out of my sight and no longer go astray, and if, in a truthful, just, and righteous way, you swear, as surely as the Lord lives, then the nations will be blessed by him, and in him they will glory. 
This is what the Lord says to the men of Judah and to Jerusalem. Break up your unplowed ground and do not sow among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord. Circumcise your hearts, you men of Judah and people of Jerusalem, or my wrath will break out and burn like fire because of the evil you have done. Burn with no one to quench it. Announce in Judah and proclaim in Jerusalem and say, Sound the trumpet throughout the land. Cry aloud and say, Gather together. Let us flee to the fortified cities. Raise the signal to go to Zion. Flee for safety without delay. For I am bringing disaster from the north, even terrible destruction. A lion has come out of his lair. A destroyer of nations has set out. He has left his place to lay waste your land. Your towns will lie in ruins without inhabitant. So put on sackcloth, lament, and wail, for the fierce anger of the Lord has not turned away from us. In that day, declares the Lord, the king and the officials will lose heart. The priests will be horrified, and the prophets will be appalled. Then I said, Ah, sovereign Lord, how completely you have deceived this people and Jerusalem by saying, You will have peace when the sword is at our throats. At that time, this people and Jerusalem will be told, A scorching wind from the barren heights in the desert blows toward my people, but not to winnow or cleanse. A wind too strong that comes from me. Now I pronounce my judgments against them. Look, he advances like the clouds. His chariots come like a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe to us! We are ruined! O oh, Jerusalem, wash the evil from your heart and be saved. How long will you harbor wicked thoughts? A voice is announcing from Dan, proclaiming disaster from the hills of Ephraim. Tell this to the nations. Proclaim it to Jerusalem. A besieging army is coming from a distant land, raising a war cry against the cities of Judah. They surround her like men guarding a field because she has rebelled against me, declares the Lord. Your own conduct and actions have brought this upon you. This is your punishment. How bitter it is. How it pierces to the heart. Oh, my anguish, my anguish. I writhe in pain. Oh, the agony of my heart. My heart pounds within me. I cannot keep silent, for I have heard the sound of the trumpet. I have heard the battle cry. Disaster follows disaster. The whole land lies in ruins. In an instant, my tents are destroyed. My shelter in a moment. How long must I see the battle standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? My people are fools. They do not know me. They are senseless children. They have no understanding. They are skilled in doing evil. They know not how to do good. I looked at the earth, and it was formless and empty, and at the heavens, and their light was gone. I looked at the mountains, and they were quaking. All the hills were swaying. I looked, and there were no people. Every bird in the sky had flown away. I looked, and the fruitful land was a desert. All its towns lay in ruins before the Lord before his fierce anger. This is what the Lord says. The whole land will be ruined, though I will not destroy it completely. Therefore the earth will mourn and the heavens above grow dark, because I have spoken and will not relent. I have decided and will not turn back. At the sound of horsemen and archers, every town takes to flight. Some go into the thickets, some climb up among the rocks. All the towns are deserted. No one lives in them. What are you doing, O devastated one? Why dress yourself in scarlet and put on jewels of gold? Why shade your eyes with paint? You adorn yourself in vain. Your lovers despise you. They seek your life. I hear a cry as of a woman in labor, a groan as of one bearing her first child, the cry of the daughter of Zion gasping for breath, stretching out her hands and saying, Alas, I am fainting. My life is given over to murderers. Chapter 5 Go up and down the streets of Jerusalem. Look around and consider. Search 
through her squares, if you can find but one person who deals honestly and seeks the truth, I will forgive this city. Although they say, as surely as the Lord lives, still they are swearing falsely. O oh Lord, do not your eyes look for truth? You struck them, but they felt no pain. You crushed them, but they refused correction. They made their faces harder than stone and refused to repent. I thought, these are only the poor. They are foolish, for they do not know the way of the Lord, the requirements of their God. So I will go to the leaders and speak to them. Surely they know the way of the Lord, the requirements of their God. But with one accord, they too had broken off the yoke and torn off the bonds. Therefore a lion from the forest will attack them, a wolf from the desert will ravage them, a leopard will lie in wait near their towns to tear to pieces any who venture out, for their rebellion is great and their backslidings many. Why should I forgive you? Your children have forsaken me and sworn by gods that are not gods. I supplied all their needs, yet they committed adultery and thronged to the houses of prostitutes. They are well-fed, lusty stallions, each neighing for another man's wife. Should I not punish them for this? declares the Lord. Should I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? Go through her vineyards and ravage them, but do not destroy them completely. Strip off her branches, for these people do not belong to the Lord. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have been utterly unfaithful to me, declares the Lord. They have lied about the Lord. They said, He will do nothing. No harm will come to us. We will never see sword or famine. The prophets are but wind, and the word is not in them. So let what they say be done to them. Therefore, this is what the Lord God Almighty says. Because the people have spoken these words, I will make my words in your mouth a fire, and these people the wood it consumes. O house of Israel, declares the Lord, I am bringing a distant nation against you, an ancient and enduring nation, a people whose language you do not know, whose speech you do not understand. Their quivers are like an open grave. All of them are mighty warriors. They will devour your harvests and food, devour your sons and daughters. They will devour your flocks and herds, devour your vines and fig trees. With the sword, they will destroy the fortified cities in which you trust. Yet even in those days, declares the Lord, I will not destroy you completely. And when the people ask, Why has the Lord our God done all this to us? You will tell them, As you have forsaken me and served foreign gods in your own land, so now you will serve foreigners in a land not your own. Announce this to the house of Jacob and proclaim it in Judah. Hear this, you foolish and senseless people who have eyes but do not see, who have ears but do not hear. Should you not fear me, declares the Lord, should you not tremble in my presence? I made the sand a boundary for the sea, an everlasting barrier it cannot cross. The waves may roll, but they cannot prevail. They may roar, but they cannot cross it. But these people have stubborn and rebellious hearts. They have turned aside and gone away. They do not say to themselves, Let us fear the Lord our God, who gives autumn and spring rains in season, who assures us of the regular weeks of harvest. Your wrongdoings have kept these away. Your sins have deprived you of good. Among my people are wicked men who lie in wait like men who snare birds and like those who set traps to catch men, like cages full of birds. Their houses are full of deceit. They have become rich and powerful and have grown fat and sleek. Their evil deeds have no limit. They do not plead the case of the fatherless to win it. They do not defend the rights of the poor. Should I not punish them for this? declares the Lord. Should I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? A horrible and shocking thing has happened in the land. The prophets 
prophesy lies. The priests rule by their own authority, and my people love it this way. But what will you do in the end? Chapter 6 Flee for safety, people of Benjamin! Flee from Jerusalem! Sound the trumpet in Tekoa! Raise the signal over beth Hakarim. For disaster looms out of the north, even terrible destruction. I will destroy the daughter of Zion, so beautiful and delicate. Shepherds with their flocks will come against her. They will pitch their tents around her, each tending his own portion. Prepare for battle against her. Arise, let us attack at noon. But alas, the daylight is fading and the shadows of evening grow long. So arise, let us attack at night and destroy her fortresses. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Cut down the trees and build siege ramps against Jerusalem. This city must be punished. It is filled with oppression. As a well pours out its water, so she pours out her wickedness. Violence and destruction resound in her. Her sickness and wounds are ever before me. Take warning, O Jerusalem, or I will turn away from you and make your land desolate so no one can live in it. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Let them glean the remnant of Israel as thoroughly as a vine. Pass your hand over the branches again like one gathering grapes. To whom can I speak and give warning? Who will listen to me? Their ears are closed so they cannot hear. The word of the Lord is offensive to them. They find no pleasure in it. But I am full of the wrath of the Lord, and I cannot hold it in. Pour it out on the children in the street and on the young men gathered together. Both husband and wife will be caught in it, and the old, those weighed down with years. Their houses will be turned over to others, together with their fields and their wives, when I stretch out my hand against those who live in the land, declares the Lord. From the least to the greatest, all are greedy for gain. Prophets and priests alike, all practice deceit. They dress the wound of my people as though it were not serious. Peace, peace, they say, when there is no peace. Are they ashamed of their loathsome conduct? No, they have no shame at all. They do not even know how to blush. So they will fall among the fallen. They will be brought down when I punish them, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths, ask where the good way is, and walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. But you said, We will not walk in it. I appointed watchmen over you and said, Listen to the sound of the trumpet. But you said, We will not listen. Therefore, hear, O nations, observe, O witnesses, what will happen to them. Hear, O earth, I am bringing disaster on this people, the fruit of their schemes, because they have not listened to my words and have rejected my law. What do I care about incense from Sheba or sweet calamus from a distant land? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable. Your sacrifices do not please me. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will put obstacles before this people. Fathers and sons alike will stumble over them. Neighbors and friends will perish. This is what the Lord says. Look, an army is coming from the land of the north. A great nation is being stirred up from the ends of the earth. They are armed with bow and spear. They are cruel and show no mercy. They sound like the roaring sea as they ride on their horses. They come like men in battle formation to attack you, O daughter of Zion. We have heard reports about them, and our hands hang limp. Anguish has gripped us, pain like that of a woman in labor. Do not go out to the fields or walk on the roads, for the enemy has a sword, and there is terror on every side. O oh, my people, put on sackcloth and roll in ashes, mourn with bitter wailing as for an only son, for suddenly the destroyer will come upon us. I have made you a tester of metals, and my people the ore, that you may observe and test their ways. They are all hardened rebels, going about to slander. They are bronze and iron, they all act corruptly. The bellows blow fiercely to burn away the lead with fire, but the refining goes on in vain. The wicked are not purged out. They are called rejected silver because the Lord has rejected them. Chapter 7 This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. 
Stand at the gate of the Lord's house, and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah who come through these gates to worship the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Reform your ways and your actions, and I will let you live in this place. Do not trust in deceptive words and say, This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. If you really change your ways and your actions and deal with each other justly, if you do not oppress the alien, the fatherless, or the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not follow other gods to your own harm, then I will let you live in this place, in the land I gave your forefathers forever and ever. But look, you are trusting in deceptive words that are worthless. Will you steal and murder, commit adultery and perjury, burn incense to Baal and follow other gods you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house which bears my name and say, We are safe. Safe to do all these detestable things? Has this house which bears my name become a den of robbers to you? But I have been watching, declares the Lord. Go now to the place in Shiloh where I first made a dwelling for my name and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people Israel. While you were doing all these things, declares the Lord, I spoke to you again and again, but you did not listen. I called you, but you did not answer. Therefore, what I did to Shiloh, I will now do to the house that bears my name, the temple you trust in, the place I gave to you and your fathers. I will thrust you from my presence, just as I did all your brothers, the people of Ephraim. So do not pray for this people, nor offer any plea or petition for them. Do not plead with me, for I will not listen to you. Do you not see what they are doing in the towns of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, the fathers light the fire, and the women knead the dough and make cakes of bread for the Queen of Heaven. They pour out drink offerings to other gods to provoke me to anger. But am I the one they are provoking? declares the Lord. Are they not rather harming themselves to their own shame? Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. My anger and my wrath will be poured out on this place, on man and beast, on the trees of the field, and on the fruit of the ground, and it will burn and not be quenched. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Go ahead, add your burnt offerings to your other sacrifices and eat the meat yourselves. For when I brought your forefathers out of Egypt and spoke to them, I did not just give them commands about burnt offerings and sacrifices, but I gave them this command. Obey me, and I will be your God, and you will be my people." Walk in all the ways I command you, that it may go well with you. But they did not listen or pay attention. Instead, they followed the stubborn inclinations of their evil hearts. They went backward and not forward. From the time your forefathers left Egypt until now, day after day, again and again, I sent you my servants, the prophets. But they did not listen to me or pay attention. They were stiff-necked and did more evil than their forefathers. When you tell them all this, they will not listen to you. When you call to them, they will not answer. Therefore say to them, This is the nation that has not obeyed the Lord its God or responded to correction. Truth has perished, it has vanished from their lips. Cut off your hair and throw it away. Take up a lament on the barren heights, for the Lord has rejected and abandoned this generation that is under his wrath. The people of Judah have done evil in my eyes declares the Lord. They have set up their detestable idols in the house that bears my name and have defiled it. They have built the high places of Topheth in the valley of Ben-Hinnom to burn their sons and daughters in the fire, something I did not command, nor did it enter my mind. So beware, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when people will no longer call it Topheth or the valley of Ben-Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter, for they will bury the dead in Topheth until there is no more room. Then the carcasses of this people will become food for the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth, and there will be no one to frighten them away. I will bring an end to the sounds of joy and gladness and to the voices of bride and bridegroom in the towns of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, for the land will become desolate. Chapter 8 At that time, 
declares the Lord, the bones of the kings and officials of Judah, the bones of the priests and prophets, and the bones of the people of Jerusalem will be removed from their graves. They will be exposed to the sun and the moon and all the stars of the heavens, which they have loved and served and which they have followed and consulted and worshipped. They will not be gathered up or buried, but will be like refuse lying on the ground. Wherever I banish them, all the survivors of this evil nation will prefer death to life, declares the Lord Almighty. Say to them, This is what the Lord says. When men fall down, do they not get up? When a man turns away, does he not return? Why then have these people turned away? Why does Jerusalem always turn away? They cling to deceit, they refuse to return. I have listened attentively, but they do not say what is right. No one repents of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Each pursues his own course like a horse charging into battle. Even the stork in the sky knows her appointed seasons, and the dove, the swift, and the thrush observe the time of their migration. But my people do not know the requirements of the Lord. How can you say, we are wise, for we have the law of the Lord, when actually the lying pen of the scribes has handled it falsely. The wise will be put to shame. They will be dismayed and trapped. Since they have rejected the word of the Lord, what kind of wisdom do they have? Therefore, I will give their wives to other men and their fields to new owners. From the least to the greatest, all are greedy for gain. Prophets and priests alike all practice deceit. They dress the wound of my people as though it were not serious. Peace, peace, they say, when there is no peace. Are they ashamed of their loathsome conduct? No, they have no shame at all. They do not even know how to blush. So they will fall among the fallen. So they will be brought down when they are punished, says the Lord. I will take away their harvest, declares the Lord. There will be no grapes on the vine. There will be no figs on the tree and their leaves will wither. What I have given them will be taken from them. Why are we sitting here? Gather together. Let us flee to the fortified cities and perish there. For the Lord our God has doomed us to perish and given us poisoned water to drink because we have sinned against him. We hoped for peace, but no good has come for a time of healing. But there was only terror. The snorting of the enemy's horses is heard from Dan. At the neighing of their stallions, the whole land trembles. They have come to devour the land and everything in it, the city and all who live there. See, I will send venomous snakes among you, vipers that cannot be charmed, and they will bite you, declares the Lord. Oh, my comforter in sorrow, my heart is faint within me. Listen to the cry of my people from a land far away. Is the Lord not in Zion? Is her king no longer there? Why have they provoked me to anger with their images, with their worthless foreign idols? The harvest is past, the summer has ended, and we are not saved. Since my people are crushed, I am crushed. I mourn, and horror grips me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? Chapter 9 Oh, that my head were a spring of water, and my eyes a fountain of tears. I would weep day and night for the slain of my people. Oh, that I had in the desert a lodging place for travelers, so that I might leave my people and go away from them. For they are all adulterers, a crowd of unfaithful people. They make ready their tongue like a bow to shoot lies. It is not by truth that they triumph in the land. They go from one sin to another. They do not acknowledge me declares the Lord. Beware of your friends. Do not trust your brothers, for every brother is a deceiver and every friend a slanderer. Friend deceives friend, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongues to lie. They weary themselves with sinning. You live in the midst of deception. In their deceit they refuse to acknowledge me, declares the Lord. Therefore this is what the Lord Almighty says. See, I will refine and test them, for what else can I do because of the sin of my people? Their tongue is a deadly arrow, it speaks with deceit. With his mouth each speaks cordially to his neighbor, but in his heart 
he sets a trap for him. Should I not punish them for this? declares the Lord. Should I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? I will weep and wail for the mountains and take up a lament concerning the desert pastures. They are desolate and untraveled, and the lowing of cattle is not heard. The birds of the air have fled, and the animals are gone. I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a haunt of jackals. I will lay waste the towns of Judah, so no one can live there. What man is wise enough to understand this? Who has been instructed by the Lord and can explain it? Why has the land been ruined and laid waste like a desert that no one can cross? The Lord said, It is because they have forsaken my law which I set before them. They have not obeyed me or followed my law. Instead, they have followed the stubbornness of their hearts. They have followed the Baals as their fathers taught them. Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. See, I will make this people eat bitter food and drink poisoned water. I will scatter them among nations that neither they nor their fathers have known, and I will pursue them with the sword until I have destroyed them. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Consider now. Call for the wailing women to come. Send for the most skillful of them. Let them come quickly and wail over us till our eyes overflow with tears and water streams from our eyelids. The sound of wailing is heard from Zion. How ruined we are! How great is our shame! We must leave our land because our houses are in ruins! Now, O oh women, hear the word of the Lord. Open your ears to the words of his mouth. Teach your daughters how to wail. Teach one another a lament. Death has climbed in through our windows and has entered our fortresses. It has cut off the children from the streets and the young men from the public squares. Say, this is what the Lord declares. The dead bodies of men will lie like refuse on the open field, like cut grain behind the reaper, with no one to gather them. This is what the Lord says. Let not the wise man boast of his wisdom, or the strong man boast of his strength, or the rich man boast of his riches, but let him who boasts boast about this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth, for in these I delight, declares the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will punish all who are circumcised only in the flesh. Egypt, Judah, Edom, Ammon, Moab, and all who live in the desert in distant places, for all these nations are really uncircumcised, and even the whole house of Israel is uncircumcised in heart. Chapter 10 Hear what the Lord says to you, O house of Israel. This is what the Lord says. Do not learn the ways of the nations or be terrified by signs in the sky, though the nations are terrified by them. For the customs of the peoples are worthless. They cut a tree out of the forest, and a craftsman shapes it with his chisel. They adorn it with silver and gold. They fasten it with hammer and nails, so it will not totter. Like a scarecrow in a melon patch, their idols cannot speak. They must be carried, because they cannot walk. Do not fear them. They can do no harm, nor can they do any good. No one is like you, O Lord. You are great, and your name is mighty in power. Who should not revere you, O King of the nations? This is your due. Among all the wise men of the nations and in all their kingdoms, there is no one like you. They are all senseless and foolish. They are taught by worthless wooden idols. Hammered silver is brought from Tarshish and gold from Euphaz. What the craftsmen and goldsmith have made is then dressed in blue and purple, all made by skilled workers. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God, the eternal King. When He is angry, the earth trembles. The nations cannot endure His wrath. Tell them this. These gods who did not make the heavens and the earth will perish from the earth and from under the heavens. But God made the earth by His power. He founded the world by His wisdom and stretched out the heavens by His understanding. When he thunders, the waters in the heavens roar. He makes clouds rise from the ends of the earth. He sends lightning with the rain and brings out the wind from his storehouses. 
Everyone is senseless and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is shamed by his idols. His images are a fraud. They have no breath in them. They are worthless, the objects of mockery. When their judgment comes, they will perish. He who is the portion of Jacob is not like these, for he is the maker of all things, including Israel, the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord Almighty is his name. Gather up your belongings to leave the land, you who live under siege. For this is what the Lord says. At this time I will hurl out those who live in this land. I will bring distress on them so that they may be captured. Woe to me because of my injury. My wound is incurable. Yet I said to myself, this is my sickness and I must endure it. My tent is destroyed. All its ropes are snapped. My sons are gone from me and are no more. No one is left now to pitch my tent or to set up my shelter. The shepherds are senseless and do not inquire of the Lord. So they do not prosper and all their flock is scattered. Listen, the report is coming. A great commotion from the land of the north. It will make the towns of Judah desolate, a haunt of jackals. I know, O Lord, that a man's life is not his own. It is not for man to direct his steps. Correct me, Lord, but only with justice, not in your anger, lest you reduce me to nothing. Pour out your wrath on the nations that do not acknowledge you, on the peoples who do not call on your name. For they have devoured Jacob, they have devoured him completely, and destroyed his homeland.